Thank you for watching today. This is Kinnear. Welcome back to another Starfield New Game Plus video. I'm doing something a little different in this video and testing the shield bug I recently experienced. I've already replaced the affected ship, but I wanted to know if I could reproduce the bug. And I can. And it's stranger than I thought. I'll tell you exactly what to avoid doing and which companions to avoid in order to not fall victim to this bug. As a bonus, I found a way to get my shields on the new Cutlass 5, which was my Claymore 3 that I just retrofitted, up to over 3,800 points. So let's get started. So I'm going to walk through a series of tests that I did in order to find this bug and reproduce it. My goal was to be able to create the bug anytime I wanted to as a way to understand better how it was caused or at least what factors came into play when it was triggered. I don't know exactly when I triggered this bug, but I have a pretty good guess by the end of this process. One of the first things I needed to look at though was my own ship-related skills and the skills that crew members have. So for Kinnear's ship-related skills, I have payloads, piloting, and engine systems at four of four. Shield systems was at three of four, which gives me a 60% boost in shields. That's relevant. I also have recently leveled up Starship Engineering, Astrodynamics, and Neutronic Fusion with a point, and then particle beam weapon systems as well. The crew I have are mixed. And I typically break down crew skills into three categories. The first category is ship defense, power mobility, and cargo, weapon systems, and crew personal skills. Now, I'm not really worried about the crew that have personal skills like wellness and gastronomy and things like that. Weapon systems turns out to be interesting as a separate category. And under ship defense, power, mobility, and cargo are most of the ship-related skills, specifically shield systems. So we'll keep those in mind. I assumed, because this is a shield systems bug, that shield systems was one of the skills I needed to be paying attention to. Omari Hassan has shield systems three, Ezekiel has shield systems one, and I have three of four as well. It's worth noting that Omari also has starship engineering. I don't know how that will play in. I did also want to look at the other crew members that have ship-related skills, but they're not really shield-related skills. Eric Von Price has payloads and astrodynamics. Andromeda Kepler has aneutronic fusion and piloting. Marika Boros has weapon systems or particle beam weapon systems. And Betty Hauser has missile weapon systems. So I considered both of those as well. Where this gets really interesting is when I started to walk through the tests. Now, I wanted to determine if this was something that only affected stolen enemy ships or if it also affected ships that the game provides to you like the Frontier and the Starborn Guardian. So one of the first tests I did was with the Frontier. And I used Omari because he has Shield Systems 3 as well, and I have Shield Systems 3. So in the Frontier, on the top of this table, the core shield rating is 310. My 60% should be 186, so I would expect a 496 rating just when I get in the ship and decide to go someplace. When Omari is part of my crew, I expect another 20% on top of that for a 558. And that's what I saw. So I took the Frontier into space, and here's the test I ran. I did a save and a restore, just from orbit, nothing special. And the moment I finished the restore, the shield had dropped to 372 and this ship was bugged. It was that simple. I did the same thing with a quick save and restore as well, and I don't think there's a difference between a full save and restore and a quick save through any of the rest of the tests that I did. So I took that ship back, and actually in each of these cases, I restored to another save here on Nessoy, which is where I built the Smuggler's Cove mini base. And I picked up the Cutlass 5, which was the Claymore 3. This is the replacement for the ship that had the ship bug before. And one of the things I noticed right off the bat was that the Cutlass 5, as I was standing out on the landing bay, had a shield rating of 2880 which actually it shouldn't have at that point because I didn't have any crew assigned to it. Omari wasn't assigned to it. So the core rating was a 1600 from the actual shield itself. My 60% is 960. I expected 2560 to be the value. Now, what I did was I got on the ship and I assigned Omari to the ship while I was on board. And then I closed out the menus, came back in, I dismissed Omari from the ship, closed out the menus, came back in, and the ship was now showing 2,560 as my shield value. So there's something unusual that goes on with the last value that you had for a particular statistic when you're on the ship that is visible when you're off the ship just looking at the card. So that's one of the things I did in order to reset down to 2560. And at that point, I used that for the 
the tests going forward. I will also note that I dismissed all the crew on board the ship and I took the Cutlass 5 into space just alone and did the save and restore and I did not trigger the ship buck. My shields were 2560 before, they were 2560 after and that's exactly what I expected. Since I wanted to focus on shield systems, I restored to my previous restore on Nessoi. That's my base for all these tests. And at this point, I stood outside the ship and I assigned Omari and Ezekiel to the ship. Both of them have shield systems, one at three and one at, at uh, level one. I looked at the ship card and it still showed 2560. I did not see any bonus from either one of them on the ship's shield rating. So I entered the ship, exited the ship, and re-entered the ship, and at that point in time, I could see 2880 as my shield score, and that's what I expected. 1600 from the, the shield module itself, 960 from me, and then another 320, or 20%, from Amari for a total of 2880. It did not count Ezekiel, which is what I, I expected. It's supposed to take the highest level crew member skill and apply that and ignore anything else. So then I took that ship, which had 2880, into space. I did a save and a restore, and the shield dropped immediately to 1920. The 1920 reflects the previous shield score, I believe, minus my 60% bonus of 960. It was still counting Omari. It was still counting the core ship module rating of 1600. And so the result was 1920. So I reset the ship. At this point, I thought, well, let's try some other crew members other than those that have shield systems. So I picked up Eric Von Price and brought him on board the ship. I also wanted to see if the cargo capacity changed. And I believe while I was outside the ship, the cargo capacity was at 8,000, and that's just from me. That's the ship's core cargo capacity plus my 50% bonus. When I got on the ship and Eric was assigned, I did see an additional 10% which made it 8,801. There was one additional point in there. It's interesting that his 10% was based on the total capacity of the ship after my bonus was already applied. When it comes to shields, the crew bonuses are based on the core value of the shield itself. So in the case of a shield, they don't do 20, a 20% calculation for Omari based on the shield value after my bonus is applied. In the case of cargo, it appears that they do that. Anyway, I took Eric into space, just Eric, who has no shield systems skill at all. I did the save and restore, and the shields got bugged immediately, and they went down to 1,600. So that was just 1,600. It removed my 60%. Eric didn't have anything, so that didn't count. Restored back to my original Nessoi Restore. I tried the same thing with Andromeda, and just to confirm that it didn't make a difference if I assigned them while I was on the ship or outside the ship. I assigned Andromeda while I was standing outside the ship. I did the test. I assigned Andromeda while I was standing inside the ship. It didn't matter. Andromeda, who doesn't have shield systems and who actually has a neutronic fusion and piloting skill, also triggered the bug. So she's in that category of crew members that have some kind of ship-specific skill, but it's not weapon-related. My next test demonstrated why that made a difference. I took Betty up into space and Marika separately. Neither one of them triggered the bug. They were the only crew members I had on the ship at the time. It was pretty straightforward to launch into space, do a save, do a restore, and check the shields. And in both cases, the shields stayed at 2560, which was my core bonus added on top of the shields core 1600 value. It looks like if the skill for the crew member is purely personal, or if it's personal and maybe it includes a weapon system skill, it doesn't trigger the shield bug. As an additional test, and I, and I went back and I looked at some older videos on this because this, this issue has been known for some time now. I also read a lot of Reddit posts on this as well, just to see if anybody else had been talking about this. And there's some interesting theories out there. They didn't all work out the way that people thought they were working at the time. And I believe part of this is because when most of this was originally identified, people were still going through the original game, they were going through the main quest line. Whenever they saw something happen, they would associate it with the Constellation members as well. So they might think in many cases that it was related to Vasco specifically. 
I don't believe it was related to Vasco specifically. I think it is more generally related to the skills that are associated with crew members, whether they're constellation or non-constellation. So every one of my crew members are non-constellation because I'm in a new game plus alternate universe and there's no constellation here. So one of the tests I did, or one of the last tests I did, was I took Omari with me and I went through the steps necessary to get this ship properly to 2880. And then I flew out into space in a location where I thought I could get some combat. I did not create a save myself. I didn't do a quick save and I didn't do a full save. But when you fly to another location, the game automatically creates a save. And if you look at the list, there's an auto save out there. I then got into combat. And after a minute, when I realized that my turrets were going to kill everything around me, I took the power away from my turrets and I let the enemies kill me. My ship exploded and the game automatically restored me to the automatic save that it created. That did not trigger the ship bug. Omari was on board, which would have normally triggered the ship bug if I was the one doing the save and the restore. So that didn't work that way. I also did another test where I created a save in space. I landed the ship and then I restored that save into space and that did not trigger the ship bug. This is very, very specific to being in space, creating a save and then doing a restoration at that exact moment in time. So in the end, the autosave created by the game was not a problem. Autosave and restore if you get killed in space combat, you don't really have to worry about it. That doesn't trigger the, or it didn't trigger the bug for me. In addition, if I had a save in space, which would normally have the name of my ship on it, if I loaded that when I started the game up, or if I just happened to be like in, in New Atlantis and I wanted to go straight back to that save instead, that didn't seem to trigger it either. It had everything to do with being in space and both saving and restoring. I did at one point in time wait two minutes between the save and the restore, and that didn't have an effect. It still caused the bug. The last test that I did, or one of the last tests that I did, was with the Starborn Guardian. Starborn Guardian has a shield rating of 1120 on it originally. My bonus is 672. I would expect to see 7, 1792 as the ship shield rating, unless I had Omari as a crew member, in which case I'd expect to see 2016. I put Omari on the ship, Everything lined up. I saw 2016. I went into orbit at Nessoy. I did a save and a restore, and the shield dropped to 1344 immediately. The Starborn Guardian 5, I would consider bugged at that point. So I restored back to another one. But through this, I demonstrated essentially that the Frontier, the Claymore, and the Starborn Guardian 5 were all subject to the same bug. It really didn't matter which ship it was, and I wanted to eliminate that up front because I didn't know if it was certain types of ships. It's ships that are provided with the game. It's ships that you know you, you can only get one of, and quite frankly, if they become bugged, I'm not sure you can even sell the Frontier from your inventory. I'm not positive on that one, and and I haven't checked with the Starborn as well. So you may end up in a situation where they're bugged and you've you've lost some inventory slots as well. The final test that I did, and this is actually something that I saw in an earlier video, and I didn't have the time to go through and test this thoroughly, but there was a very, very specific claim on another way to trigger this bug. And it was, if you are in combat and you complete the combat and you've won, you've killed all the enemies around you, and you spend a skill point while on your ship in an area that affects the ship itself, you can trigger the bug. And so I did that. I had to go out and do some hunting on Schrodinger 3 in order to get another skill, to get another level so that I had a skill point. But then I went out and went into combat someplace, wrapped up the combat, opened up my skill tree, and I picked the fourth point in shield systems because that was still open to me. I dropped a point in there, I closed down that menu, I opened up the ship again, and my shields were at 3,840, which I don't believe should mathematically be possible for that ship. If I do the math on it and break it apart, that's 1,600 for the shield module itself. That is my bonus of 960 multiplied by two, or applied twice, plus Omari's bonus of 320 to get to 3,840. So the reason I said that's a very specific and unique kind of bonus is I'm not sure it's the kind of thing you can just arbitrarily pull off. 
I don't know if you spend points in a different skill area right after combat if you would trigger this bug and if it would go the opposite direction. What I had seen earlier was that the bug was triggered and you lost points off of shields. I had not seen anybody do this and gain points off of shields, and I don't really know if it's specific to the, the skill that I actually chose. So you might be able to reproduce this, or you might not. I'm not suggesting anybody try. I'm just citing it as another strange anomaly in this, this Bethesda Starfield shield math problem that's going on. I really hope they correct this at some point in time in the future. I do believe that as long as this exists in the game, I don't have any real issues with ship farming or, and specifically, I don't have any real issues using Claymore 3s or any other ships I collect as my core ship. I have in another save custom built a ship, spent almost a million credits on it, and I went back and checked that save I hadn't noticed before, and it's bugged. So it's a little bit of a disappointment to put forth that kind of effort to build something custom that you really like and then have it get bugged, given the fact that we don't know any method to, let's say, unbug those ships at this point in time. Now, is that impact significant? It's not really that significant. For the most part, you can still view combat. It might be a little dicier as you go, especially if there's a way to replace ships. Like if I'm using a Claymore and a Claymore gets bugged, I don't really care. I'll go pick up another one. If I'm using a custom ship that I spent a million credits on, I'm probably a little more disappointed. But if you're following this guide in order to go through New Game Plus, you may reach the end of your cycle pretty quickly and go on to, go on through the Unity again soon. So this isn't the kind of thing I don't I don't build custom ships in my New Game Plus games. Now when I get to my final New Game Plus, I might stop around uh, New Game Plus 10, and at that point in time, I might want to build some ships. And I would think twice about building a very expensive custom ship at that point if this bug had not been addressed. Hopefully the timing on that will work out in such a way that we get a new patch, that this bug is addressed, and we don't have to worry about it in the future. Thanks for joining me. I hope that was informative and interesting. If you have been affected by the ship bug, maybe this will help you avoid it in the future. If you have not been affected by the ship bug and you're just interested in this kind of odd side research, I hope you enjoyed it for that reason as well. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. Just a reminder, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to try one more time. Whatever you're trying to do can seem impossible until it's done, so keep at it. Success is closer than you think. Please click that subscribe button and notification bell, and I hope you come back for more. Until next time, this is Kinnear, and I'm out.